gosh, what's going on, my friend? This is so exciting. What's the title of this video? What happens when regular Joe <laughs> does unbound gravel? This is the question we're asking and, and you're gonna help us answer it. Is that fair? Can I call you regular Joe or do you take offense? Oh, definitely not taking offense. I think the regular Joe is probably Joe is gonna get offended. We're not worried about <laughs> offending regular Joe. And I just wanna correct that regular Joe is trying to do the unbound 200. <laughs> well, we're all rooting for you. First, tell us like how it came to be that you're doing it. I, I absolutely love testing my limits. And this is something that scares me and put me out of my comfort zone. And for the last couple of years, I, I, I totally boxed myself in, my, in the comfort zone in every way of life. So this is my chance to step outside that box and try something which I actually can fail. So, you know, finding a motivation and, and doing the things which needs to be done to get to the place I want it to be, it's, 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 it, that's why. So Unbound for me, it's the biggest gravel event, actually not just for me, it is the biggest gravel event in the world at, right now. The participants come all over the world, all, all types of riders are in it. That's exciting. I was on the Right to Remember in West, West Springfield last year, 2023. Okay. Riding with this guy named, sorry Jake, Jake LaBelle. And riding with him, he's like, yeah, I did the Unbound 200 this year. And I'm like, man, you did that? I like, I keep hearing about it. I, this is something back in my mind, I wanna do it, but I know I don't have fitness to do it. And I'm like, one day I will do it. And somehow he said a few things which sits right in my head and I'm like, all right. And then I came home, think about it for a month or two, and then I'm like, I'm gonna apply. I'm, I'm gonna put my name in the lottery. And that's what I thought. That's all it's gonna take. Just put the name in the lottery and you know. Can you explain a little bit what the lottery is? So they do um, open a lottery for two weeks. They, you, you sign up, you pay the fee. Actually, they don't charge you, but they get all the information and you put your name down. And they have so many riders all over the world. I think it's over 40 countries, people come and ride this uh, Unbound 200 and, and they have other ones too. They pick out of those riders, the 2,000 riders do a uh, 200. But many more apply, so it's hard to win the lottery. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's so many. This year, I think so there's one um, pro rider, the actual world tour rider, he put a name in the lottery, came out and and he's like, okay, I guess I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the easy part, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so when you won the lottery, Tell us a little bit how that felt for you. Actually, I was at the bike shop coming in for a bike mechanic class and I was in the parking lot, checked, got an email, opened it up. I was so excited. I was hyped. My name came up and I was like, you know, just excited and not thinking anything other than that. Later, I I think so a day or two when the, the hype went down. One day I wake up and I will actually, I, I dreamt about the Unbound and I'm in it. And at one point I just, could not pedal. Like I was freaked out that I looking at my my legs and I'm like, why can't I pedal? It's not like you know I was I was tired or anything, but I cannot pedal. It was just uh, <laughs> it woke me up, it stressed me out, and then from there on I'm like, okay, this thing is as real as it can be, and I, I'm not I'm not a competitive guy, right? I love my bike, I love going outdoors and ride. I hate indoor riding. I'm not saying I don't do it. I realize, no, I have to. I have to ride indoors for training purposes. So we're filming this on March 1st, and when is the uh, event? <laughs> June 1st, 2024. In the perfect world, I want to finish in 16 hours riding mm -hmm. time. So that's my goal. Um, and it's a very ambitious goal because I look at the people's time who are way stronger than me and they have a hard time finishing 16 hours, so that's that. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. Have you ever done anything like this before? Absolutely not. <laughs> so hard work is something I've done before um, and it was nothing to do with fitness or testing my body limits. It was more like, you know, working and make it make it to where I want to be. 
So I worked like, you know, eight years, um, seven, eight years for like um, 12 hours a day, almost seven days a week and in a year, maybe take two, three weeks off. And, and you know, that was not easy uh, mentally, um, physically, um, everything. Those were challenges. But um, this is literally this. This is like, a, I think, so the biggest test of my limits. Um, okay. and, 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 yeah. and I'm training for it. What makes you qualified to attempt such a prestigious bike event? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just spent shit lot of money last year to buy a gravel bike, which I need to justify. <laughs> and that's why I don't think so. I would have ever, ever be in the position where I say, oh, I'm ready for it. I don't, yeah. No. Tell us what type of rider you are. I am the slowest rider you find in, 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 in <laughs> around. I'm that guy. I love to ride a couple of hours. So I don't like to tire myself out by end of the ride, which a lot of people do, and you know, that, that's so, what they like. You're not the guy on the A group at the bike shop is doing two and a half hours at absolute limit. You're going easy, you're enjoying the scenery. Yes, like a zone one and two rider. The, the, the only only time I think so I ride hard sometimes is it, it's on the B group sometimes, but um, yeah, not, that's not my favorite rides. Next question, how did you get into cycling? <laughs> Everybody have a story, right? My journey started because I was overweight, heavy smoker, terrible, terrible of fitness. Like there was no fitness actually. Um, and there's some wake up calls I got and I started uh, swimming and then I hurt my shoulder and then I stopped swimming and then gained so much weight. Then I started realizing, I'm like, no, I need to do something for myself. I need to do what I owe to, owe to my body. And I decided I'm gonna start going outside. And I was working like seven days a week, um, all day, every day. And then I start taking time off in the evening and in the summer. So I go to the lake and I walk around and then I sit down and then think about now what? So I'm like, what's what can I do? So um, there's a bike trail by the mall. I was working at the mall and um, one day I rented a bike and I went on a bike trail and did 22 miles, my first ride, could not walk for the next four days, <laughs> saddle, so saddle sore, uh, no bike shorts, I didn't know anything about biking and uh, absolutely loved it. After a year of on and off, a little bit of riding here and there, got a Walmart bike and I came to the uh, Berkshire Bike and Board and um, Ran into Jaren, and Jaren helped me get the you know pick up a bike, and since then I basically riding a good weather rider. Just put me as a good weather rider. That's that's what I am. I don't ride. I used to don't ride in the bad weather. I should say that, but now I have. I do go out and do fat bike in the winter. Road in, in December. Whenever I get a time and uh, nice weather outside, I go out ride, and I'm, that makes me happy. That's my absolute happiness come from the ride. How long have you been cycling? That first ride when I was talking about that, that happened in 2016. Okay. And then I think so I bought my first bike in 2018. Since then I'm on the on and off the bike, but probably the last two years I'm, I'm riding con uh, you know, constantly and continuously. Awesome. Yeah. What's your longest ride? I think it's 130 miles of my longest ride. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so you, you've done some big rides. That's awesome. Yeah, I love, I love, I love to stay outside on the bike. Um, I actually, some people hate riding in the rain, but hot days, I absolutely love rain. Okay. Riding in rain, it just, I enjoy it. I started training uh, four weeks ago, but work travel came up. So I did like first week, close to nine hours. Second week, I did the same kind of thing. Third week, I had to travel for work, so I only rode like one day. Fourth week, going on right now. So this week, I'm probably going to end up with 14 hours of riding. But again, there's a travel coming up and I am hoping, really hoping to find a time and get to the gym and get on the bike and, and at least, you know, use a, use a gym bike and, and just pedal, pedal for the next couple of weeks. How does one train for this? How are you, tra what's your strategy? So I had no strategy, I had no discipline. So <laughs> I hired a coach, he's a pro rider, uh, uh, Josh Lipka lives in Berkshire County where we live. He understands because I trained with him before, like for on and off, like not nothing long, like two, three months, because there's always something comes up and I have to stop my training and, and I've never seriously trained anyways. So I'm following his plan and his plan is, is according to what I like. And that's what I love because it's all about zone one and zone two and stay in those zones and 
And the people who think zone two is easy, and I'm telling you, if you do zone two on indoor trainer for two hours, three hours, that zone two rides are not easy. Especially day after that. I rode like the last nine, ten days straight, and my legs are fatigued. So I'm taking Monday and Tuesday off because I'm traveling, so. You're traveling, you're gonna be taking your bike with you? I don't know, I'm still thinking. Mm -hmm. How long are you traveling for? No idea. Oh. It's a one-way ticket right now. What? My brother, I have a health issue, so I'm going to help him out. Yeah, so I have no idea. I'm hoping two weeks, not more than that, but that's why I'm like, okay, should I bring my bike? You want to bring your bike? Is there biking where you're going? I have no idea. <laughs> where, where are you going? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. There's biking in Saudi Arabia. There's a Saudi Arabian tour, isn't there, for the Pro Tour circuit? No? UAE have a tour. So not Saudi Arabia? <laughs> I just got this part out. Uh, you're not recording, are you? Of course.